जय हिंद एवरी वन माई नेम इज डॉक्टर दिव्या भारती टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सब्जेक्ट नेटवर्क एनालिसिस एंड सिंथेसिस सब्जेक्ट कोड इज के सी थ्री जीरो थ्री एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस थेवन इन थियरम एंड नॉट एन थियरम सो इन दिस सब्जेक्ट अर्लियर ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट्स यूज टू स्टडी दिस थियरम थेवन इन थियरम एंड नॉट एन थियरम इन बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट बट द इन दैट सब्जेक्ट दीज थियरम्स आर टॉट फॉर द डी सी नेटवर्क ओके so we used to apply this, these theorems in uh, dc network up to your first years engineering okay so but these theorems are applicable in ac circuits as well so in today's discussion we will see the application of thevenin and norton theorem in case of ac circuit okay so uh, process is same uh, but uh, we will apply thevenin and norton theorem we will see uh, how these theorems are ap equally applicable in ac network also so first uh, we need to know why uh, we do analysis with thevenin and norton theorem okay so suppose uh, in real system or in any uh, system if load is variable okay so in that case uh, we need to calculate the voltage and current and also we have to calculate the power through the load and load is varying okay so in that case these theorems are uh, easier these theorems make calculations easier how that we will see so as we know so using this thevenin theorem and norton theorem we can transform our complex circuit into a simple circuit how that we will see in uh, next slides so, uh, so thevenin theorem is probably basically it is the one of the most interesting uh, in the that it permits the reduction of complex network into the simpler form for analysis okay as i told uh, in introduction also that these theorems we used to study these theorems because these theorems makes analysis easier how so any complex network can be redrawn into a simple network using these theorems okay so uh, basically oh, if we consider the case of dc network then any two terminal dc network can be replaced by an equivalent circuit in that circuit in that equivalent circuit there will be only a single voltage source and there will be a single resistor in the series with that source okay so any complex number any complex circuit can be replaced by a small circuit okay in small circuit there will be single voltage source and there will be single resistor in series with that voltage source okay so this equivalent voltage source we calculate how we calculate this equivalent voltage source and how we calculate this equivalent resistor okay for the complex network okay so this process can be the sim uh, the reduction of complex network into a smaller network can be done by thevenin theorem and by norton theorem as well okay so how we derive the equivalent voltage source and how we derive the equivalent resistance okay so this is the process that in general the theorem can be used in the following way so we analyze the network with sources that are not not in series or parallel okay so suppose if number of resistors are connected in series then we can calculate the equivalent of that or if number of resistors are connected in parallel then in, case, in that case also we can calculate the equivalent resistance okay so but when in actual complex circuit okay so if some of resistors are in series some of the that those are in parallel and the network actual network is the combination of series and parallel resistors so in that case we find the thevenin resistance okay that is the equivalent resistance of that so these theorems like thevenin theorem can be used in the following way to analyze the network with sources that are not in series or parallel okay so it reduces the number of components required to establish the same characteristics at the output terminal okay so by using the thevenin theorem first what we will do we will simplify the network and in that net in the simplified network we will we can establish the same characteristics okay we can establish the same characteristics of the output terminals so 
it is easier to investigate the effects of changing a particular component on the behavior of network without having uh, to analyze the entire network. As I told you, suppose a load is varying. Okay, so in that case, what we do? We just simplify the network. Apart from load, we can represent entire network with a single voltage source, in, and there will be a single resistance in series with that. Okay, so and then. We can change the load easier to calculate or to observe the behavior. Okay, I mean, if we are changing the load, how power is going to change with that? How voltage is going to change with that? Okay, or if we are changing the value of uh, resistor or impedance, then how current through that is going to change? Okay, so these things can be analyzed or these things can be investigated. Like we can check the network behavior without. Changing the entire network without calculating, without analyzing the complete network. Okay, so first is we will have to find out the Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistance. As I told you, that complex network can be simplified in a simple net can be simplified into a smaller form. In that a smaller form of network, in the simple form of network, there will be a single voltage source and a single resistance only okay so single voltage source okay and this equivalent network where single voltage source and single resistor is there that is called as the thevenin equivalent of that circuit okay so voltage source is the thevenin voltage and equivalent resistance is the thevenin resistance so for any complex network we will have to derive Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistance. So first, how we will calculate the VTH that is Thevenin voltage and how we will calculate RTH. So first step is that we will remove the portion of the network, okay, where we need to calculate the Thevenin equivalent, okay. Suppose any load uh, terminal is there, okay. So from that load terminal, we will remove the load, okay. In first step. Suppose a terminal AB is there, and across AB we need to calculate the voltage, or we need to calculate the current. Okay, so first, what we will do? We will remove the load, we will remove the resistance, or we will remove the impedance that is connected through the terminal. Okay, connected through the terminal where we will calculate the load or we will calculate the current okay so remove uh, this we will that means we will, we are not permanently removing this okay just we are temporarily we are removing the load okay where we need to calculate the current or power or voltage okay so we will remove that okay so second step that we will mark the terminal with two terms okay so we will uh, just for the sake of our convenience, we will mark these two terminals. Okay, so open terminals will be marked as A, B. We we will assign some notation to that. Okay, to the open terminals, like we can uh, put X, Y. We can put uh, A, B. So the importance of this step will become obvious as we progress through the complex network. Okay, so assigning the name is uh, essential, uh, and it makes the uh, application uh, easier. When if uh, when we are proceeding in the complex network, okay. So third step that we will calculate the RTH. How to calculate RTH? RTH means Thevenin equivalent resistance. Okay. So uh, we will calculate RTH by deactivating all the sources. Okay. So how we uh, derive? Suppose in network there are uh, two sources or three sources. We in first step we had removed RL. Okay. Open terminals has been marked with some nomenclature like A, B, X, Y, 1, 2, okay, anything. Then across the open terminal, we will calculate in between the open terminals, okay, we will calculate the equivalent resistance, okay. So, equivalent resistance, how to calculate the equivalent resistance? So, first we will deactivate all the sources. So, voltage sources will be uh, deactivated by short circuiting the branch and if there is any internal resistance of the source then we will keep that and we will 
short the voltage source okay internal resistance will be kept okay internal resistance of the sources will be kept okay and voltage if there is voltage source that will be deactivated by short circuiting and if there is current source that will be deactivated by open circuiting okay then we will find the equivalent resistance between the open terminals okay so then we will find the uh, re resultant resistance between the two marked open terminals okay so as i told you so if internal resistance of the voltage or current sources is included in the original network then it must be included uh, with the source uh, when the sources are set to zero okay so internal in, suppose internal resistances of the sources are given okay so that is uh, the case of the practical source okay in case of ideal source there is no internal resistance that we assume okay so uh, sources are not having any internal resistance if that is, those are ideal but for practical uh, sources whether that is voltage source or current source there will be internal resistance so internal resistance will be kept and we will calculate the equivalent resistance between the open terminals okay so then next step is to calculate the eth or vth okay so then first what we do we we had removed load terminals we had marked that load terminals open terminals has, has been marked with some nomenclature then in third step we we had calculated the equivalent resistance between those two terminals okay so now in fourth step we will key we will again put all the sources those we had deactivated okay in third step sources were were deactivated so now we will keep all the sources at their original position and we will find the voltage at the open terminals okay so we will calculate the open circuit voltage okay at the terminals where we had from where we had removed the load okay so the marked open terminals okay we will calculate the open circuit voltage between between the marked open terminals okay so this step is invariably that one has one that causes most confusion okay so in all cases keep in mind that open circuit potential between the two terminals that were marked in step 2 okay we will we will find the open circuit voltage open terminal potential or voltage between the open terminals from where we had removed the load okay so now to calculate this eth or vth we can apply any kind of analysis like uh, basic analysis like uh, uh, mesh analysis nodal analysis okay so depending on uh, the given circuit we can apply we can apply uh, basic analysis like mesh analysis nodal analysis and all okay so next last step that we will draw thevenin equivalent circuit for the portion of the circuit that was previously re replaced okay between the terminals okay so from suppose uh, we had suppose uh, from here this suppose we had removed this rl okay so then we had marked this terminal a and b okay so now what has been done so for in this case there are two sources e and i okay so for rth for rth so this is the current sorry voltage source so it has been uh, short circuited this is r1 uh, this is r2 this is r1 this is r2 this is current source so it will be open circuited okay so r3 is there okay and uh, here here r3 is will be there and we had removed the load and we had marked this as ab okay so for rth we will find the resistance between a and b okay so here r1 and r2 are in series okay and these two are in parallel with this r3 okay we will see the numerical also so now in the same way this is for rth okay 
Now, uh, what to do for the VTH for this circuit? So, again what we will do? We will put our sources at their place. Okay. This is R1, this is R2. Okay. So, this is current source I, this is E, this is current source I, this is R3. Okay. These are the load terminals A and B, those are open now. So, A and B. Okay. So, now in this circuit, this is for VTH or ETH. Okay. So, in this circuit, now we will calculate this, this voltage VAB, voltage between VAB. This is VTH. Okay. So, now in this circuit, you can apply any kind of analysis that you had studied earlier. Uh, so, you can uh, apply source transformation also because this current source is there and a, a resistor R3 is in parallel with that. So, you can apply the source transformation, you can convert this uh, current source into voltage source. Okay, and then you can calculate uh, VAB by applying simple uh, KVL. Okay, so suppose we had calculated VTH and we had calculated RTH. Okay, so both has been calculated. So now in in this fifth step, what we will do? We will draw the equivalent Thevenin circuit. Okay, so in that equivalent Thevenin circuit, what we will do? So we will uh, redraw circuit again. So, suppose this is terminal A, this is terminal B. Okay. So, in between these two terminals, we will co connect our RTH, okay, VTH or ETH, VTH or ETH and then RL will be kept here. Okay. So, now you can easily calculate the current through this. Okay. When you can calculate current, you can calculate the power also. Okay. So, you can calculate the voltage drop across this also. So, okay. So, the entire network. So, this as we can see here, this entire network has been now converted into this part only. Okay. So, suppose uh, you can, you can change load a number of times. Okay. So, you, you do not need to bother about after drawing the Thevenin equivalent. So, this part is the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Okay. So, after uh, calculating, after deriving the um, Thevenin equivalent circuit, you do not need to bother about the this part. Okay. So, you can you can change RL accordingly. Okay. According to the situation, you can change RL, you can do the analysis. Okay. So, now this is the example. Okay, so now in, this is the example of the AC network where we will apply um, Thevenin theorem. So, question is find the Thevenin equivalent circuit of the given network as viewed from the terminal AP. Okay. So, here in first step what we will do? So, in first step we will do that. So, here we will remove this load. Okay. So, in between these two terminals this load 2 ohm has been connected. So, we will remove this. So, okay. We will remove this. Then, we will find the C. In case of AC network, everything is same. Instead of RTH, we have to calculate ZTH. Okay. So, now here 8 ohm, okay. 8 ohm inductor is there and 6 ohm capacitor. Okay. So, so this is this 8 ohm is for the inductive reactants okay and this 6 ohm is for the capacitive reactants okay so here this we can write j8 ohm and this we will write minus j6 ohm okay so now this has been removed okay so now this is the circuit so what will be the uh, equivalent impedance uh, thevenin equivalent impedance ZTH now. So, these two we had deactivated the source also for calculating the here first step that we had removed this. These terminals has been marked already. Okay. So, this is the notation AB. 
we had deactivated the source. So now ZTH is J8 parallel minus J6. Okay. Simple. So now see for J8 we can write 8 angle 90. This is 6 angle minus 90. And then we will add these two 8 angle 90 plus 6 angle minus 90. So, it is very easy to calculate this using the calculator. Okay. So, you can calculate this value. So, it has been come as 24 angle minus 90. Okay. So, now we need to calculate the equivalent voltage. Okay open terminal voltage VAB. Okay. So, now keep the source at their place. Okay. So, now it is very simple you can calculate the current in that. Okay. So, see this circuit for this given circuit voltage at these terminal A and V is the voltage between this. Okay. So, now if you calculate the current in this network. So, current into this reactance will be the voltage drop at this. So, that will be the VAB. Okay. So, first uh, here what we had we uh, what we can do suppose I current is flowing through that. So, 10 angle 0 minus J8I plus J8 J6I equal to 0. So, that means I is 10 angle 0 divided by J into 2. So, 5 angle minus 90 is the current. So, VAB or VTH, what is VTH? VTH is VAB. Okay, so VAB we can write uh, I into I into minus J6. So, I has come as 5 angle minus 90. Okay, so now uh, you can write uh, this as 6 angle minus 90. So, it is 30 angle minus 180 degree. So, this is the VTH, this is ZTH. Okay. So, now you can draw the Thevenin equivalent. Okay. So, this is the Thevenin equivalent circuit. This is a VTH and this is ZTH. Okay. So, now again in the last step, you can put the 2 ohm uh, register. Okay. That was uh, there in the original circuit between terminals A and B. So, here you can put the 2 ohm register also. Okay, so now you can calculate the current through this, you can calculate the power through this. Okay. So, equivalent to that this, this is the Thevenin theorem that we had studied. So, now if you go for the Norton's theorem, so there is no difference between these two theorems, Think apart from that we calculate uh, the current in this. How F steps are very simple. Okay. So, uh, from the load terminals, from the terminals where we had to do the analysis, we remove the sources, we remove the load. Okay. So, if load is there, okay, then we short circuit that terminals, okay, and then we find the short circuit current, okay, and again here also we calculate the equivalent resistance between the open terminals, okay, that uh, open terminal. Okay, after open uh, after opening the load, okay, we just we will calculate the equivalent impedance or resistance between these two terminals, and that is the Norton that that is called as the Norton resistance here. Okay, which is nothing which is same which is same as the Thevenin resistance. Uh, okay, then in next step we keep the sources at their original place, and then we just short circuit that load terminals that we had opened. Okay. Now, we will calculate the short circuit current. Okay. Then, after calculating short circuit current, we draw the e Norton equivalent circuit. Okay. In Norton equivalent circuit, we will be having a single current source. Okay. That is equal to the short circuit current that we had uh, calculated. Okay. So, that is the Norton current and then in parallel with that Norton current, we will keep the internal resistance or impedance of the network. Okay. So, so, these are the steps. Okay. So, first uh, 
remove the load resistance okay then we label that uh, open um, terminals okay in second step uh, uh, we will we can easily calculate the norton resistance okay by at that open terminals as we did in the case of thevenin theorem then we will short circuit that open terminals and we will find the short circuit current so that is the norton current okay that is the norton current short the short circuit current okay so we will draw the equivalent of that okay so we can we will replace all the network okay so suppose the terminals were a and b okay so in between terminal a and b what we will draw this is the thevenin current sorry norton current okay so this is the norton resistance or impedance and we can redraw the load okay so we will see the numerical in this case also thevenin theorem and norton theorems are called dual of each other also okay so because as we know from the duality the uh, concept that voltage and current are dual so series and parallel are do, dual to each other so here what we are doing uh, in that thevenin voltage source was there in series with the resistor here current source is the equivalent okay so if we are calculating the equivalent current source so here this is the current source in parallel with resistor so thevenin theorem and norton theorems are also dual to each other see this is the entire network okay this is the entire linear uh, bilateral network and it has been replaced with a norton equivalent circuit rn rn in and this is rl again okay so when uh, once we see the numerical problem it will be more clear see this is the example that has been given question is find the current through three ohm resistor using norton theorem for the given network okay this is the resistor where we need to calculate the current using the norton theorem we can apply superposition also here because two independent sources are there okay we can apply simple kvl also here okay but in question it has been mentioned that we need to apply the norton theorem so for in very first step what we will do we will remove this 3 ohm resistor okay and then we will calculate the c this is r1 6 ohm this is r2 1 ohm so these terminals will be open this is 24 volt source and this is 12 volt source okay so this has been labeled as a and b so now this is the first step we had removed the load okay in second step we will deactivate the sources so this is this has been done here so these two sources were voltage sources and there was no internal resistance with that so those have been has been those have been removed by short circuiting so now this is the equivalent circuit so if we see in between a and b c this is from a to b this is second path from a to b so these two are in parallel okay so we can calculate the equivalent of that so 6 parallel 1 so this has been calculated here that is 0.857 ohm okay so in second step in next step what we will do we will keep the sources at their original places like uh, we did here 24 volt has been kept here 12 volt has been kept here and now we will short circuit this okay so this has been short circuited here see okay so now we need to calculate this current okay so you can apply any kind of theorem okay so here you can go for see, see this is a uh, sim from the simple analysis you can calculate okay so now if you see this is very simple circuit you can apply source transformation also this 24 divided by r1 that is 6 so you can go for that also so this will be replaced by this is r24 divided by 6 that is 4 4 ampere okay so this 6 ohm will be in parallel okay and 
again uh, this r2 is 1 ohm and 12 divided by 1 so that will be 12 ampere so now uh, from this simple observation what we had done we have applied we had applied a uh, source transformation okay so this voltage source has been converted into current source now uh, this is the short circuited path so obviously all the current will go through this so this 4 ampere and 12 ampere so current through this is 16 ampere okay because this is the short short circuited path no so equivalent of this is again a short circuited path short circuit means resistance is zero so these are in parallel okay so these will be short circuited okay so simple this 4 ampere and 12 ampere all current will go through this so this is the 16 ampere so not and what is the value of the not and current that is 16 ampere here okay so now you can draw the not an equivalent circuit this is the i n okay so and in first step see what we had calculated r n as 0.857 so here um, 16 ampere and rn is 0.857 so now this is the not an equivalent of the given circuit see the complex network has been replaced with a single current source and there is single register in parallel with that so now how load is changing just we need to uh, concentrate over that okay so now you can put the load at these terminals okay so now this has been again kept here uh, r3 is 3 ohm so now question was to calculate the current through this uh, 3 ohm resistor so now you just calculate this this is 16 ampere this is rn this is r3 you just apply current division rule okay so you will be knowing the value of the current here okay so now what whatever with the value of rn whatever with the value of this load okay so you just keep this entire network intact okay and keep changing this okay so this this is the advantage of using thevenin and norton theorem so the entire complex network can be replaced by a single voltage source in series with sing, single register if we apply thevenin theorem an entire network complex network can be replaced by a single current source in parallel with a re register in case of norton theorem so now uh, current i l is i n into this is the current division rule so this will be simply 16 16 into 16 into 0.857 divided by uh, 3 plus 0.857 so this has been calculated okay so now uh, this is the example for the ac network okay so here um, here load is already removed okay so you just uh, uh, the, the load has been removed simple you just calculate the impedance equivalent impedance by deactivating this you can uh, short this okay so these two will be in series and this is in parallel okay and uh, in next step you just keep the source at their place and short circuit this see okay so this is this is the way okay so this has been kept again here okay so you just need to calculate see this short circuit current okay so there are a few questions uh, over here so this is the example i n and z n has been calculated okay so this see this is for the z n okay and this is for the i n so this is the not an equivalent circuit okay so a few questions are given here for your practice you can go for that so in this question uh, you need to calculate the current see question is that that you need to calculate the current through this 10 ohm resistor this is uh, for your practice you can uh, practice this and answer are answer is given so here uh, i can uh, hint you that this uh, if you calculate the current through this 10, 10 ohm resistor using uh, thevenin theorem or using uh, norton theorem any theorem you can uh, apply so this this answer is 1.68 ampere direction is in this okay so this is the answer okay so thank you thank you all